Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich! Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3, the FES version. We're playing Persona 3, the FES version, and we are seven days into the last month of the year- well, the last month of the game. And we have to go finish off one of three open social links we have left. And then we'll have them all done. Four. We have four open social links left, right? We can check that out. We should have, uh, yeah, we have the Empress, which is at level six. We have the Gourmet King, which we are finishing now. We have the Dying Young Man, which is, we are finishing on Sunday. And then we have one more that will be added. So we get to start one at zero, and this is about as early as we can start it, I think, so. We also have a wonderful sword we ordered, and we're going to make another one, I believe. So we should go buy the Persona for that. The persona is Michael. Michael makes a nice one-handed sword, which means it's a great weapon for us or Mitsuru. And I mean, it's a huge upgrade, so... And we're going to need huge upgrades. Alright, here we go. 200,000 200, yen for him. And then we just get out of dodge. Come back over here. Pick up the sword that was made for us. The weapon you requested is complete. Thanks for waiting. So we obtained that weapon. So now, I think we can do another one. Why not? So there we go. Now we'll have another one for Mitsuru. Because, you know, she's cool. And if we check this out... 295 is the attack of the weapon we're using right now. And there's that thing. Right there. Boom, we're a powerhouse now. It's awesome. Alright. Hey, Vertical Gun. Perfect timing. Do you want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying sadly. Alright, he wants to go eat. And yes, we will accept the offer. Wonderful, my go, my friend. Let's go to Robin Shop. That's the place for you. Last time off. Let's go to Hagakuni. All right, and we grab some ramen. All right, the room is filled with the aroma of fish. Time flies as you eat the hours away. My younger brother and I were twins, but not the kind that looked the same. He was the better looking one. Everyone compared me to my brother, and I was never able to surpass him, not at anything. For a while I'd hit him for no reason, but he always treated me like a brother. We did always enjoy eating together, but when I was in 8th grade he got food poisoning. Oh, so actually a lot of people in his class would know him, would know this kid. I guess it was undercooked or something, but I couldn't even cry. I was relieved because I finally didn't have to measure up. I felt free. It's it's both of these things. It's terrible, and it's understandable. Thanks, but I know already. I was a terrible brother. At first, I tried to be like my brother. I went to crab schools and did martial arts and everything. But it was never as good as my brother had been, so I started to feel like people were laughing at me. When I eat, all I need to focus on is the table in front of me. Everything else disappears. See? That's what the Gourmet King is really made of. I only ate to make the voices in my head shut up. But if I keep going like this, 
I'll never be anything like my brother, will I? Hey, you should be yourself. I guess. So I should only worry about being myself. That might be true. You're right. Of course, Vertical, I can never be like my brother. We're two different people. Oh, how could I miss something so obvious? Thank you, Vertical, I really owe you one. Alright, so that was one of the odder social links we've had to do. Also one of the more tragic, really. I mean, like, he had a brother until they were... I, I mean, the equivalent of 8th grade is, what, 14? Something like that? Alright, maximum level! Doesn't he have to give me a thing? So now we can create Sandalfun, the Heavenly Messenger. By the way, you can no longer be a follower of the Gourmet King! Because you're the new king, all hail Gourmet King the second! Oh yeah, okay. And he gives us the restaurants of this tip ball gave this to me because of how often I eat there. So we get a gourmet license. I feel like I've been a fake all this time, but I will become the true gourmet king one day. I will become a food critic. It will be my job to eat and I will master it. Then once I die and go to the afterlife, I can face my brother. And he'll be impressed by the fact that I was able to master something all by myself. Hold on to this until I achieve my ultimate destiny, okay? I may have lost my position, but once I educate myself in the ways of the culinary arts, I shall reclaim it. That's my promise to you, and to my little brother. What's this? Even when I talk about my brother, I don't have to eat to feel better. And I just realized this ramen is actually really good. Okay, he orders an extra bowl of ramen, and we return to the dorm. Boom. Alright, so on the 7th. Hi, how was your day? We could theoretically go to Tartarus, but I have a walk schedule. Cormaro is looking at me pleadingly. He wants to go for a walk. I guess can go with you tonight. So we go. Together. Oh, Karamaru looks very happy. School will start again tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to it. Everything seems so different now. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps we could walk home together after classes tomorrow. I'd like to see that town with you, Vertical-san. And we spoke with Igus for a while. Welcome back. Mm, you're hungry. Well, I will give you a small snack when we return. Just a little one, okay? <laughs> he fights monsters at night. She's just like, I will feed you a little bit of food. But just a little one, okay? Like, give him all the food he wants. He fights monsters. <laughs> so, like, if anybody else's dog did what Koromaru does, like, at nighttime, we, seriously, you'd just be like, you'd leave a, the biggest, like, dog food bowl you could find filled with dog food on the floor all the time. Just be like, you'd feed him from the table. You'd just, like, you'd set a spot. You'd set him up on the table and let him eat whatever he wants. Okay, so this should actually all be very cool. Can we overhear a conversation? Hey, have you heard of this cult? Hey, don't call it that. If you don't know anything about it, the fall is coming. It's already decided. Oh, well, it's, if it's already decided, then it can't be helped. By the way, about the homework for second period. See, that guy's got his priorities straight. He's just like, well, the end of the world is coming. Hey, about the homework, what did you get for number four? <laughs> I love it. Happy New Year, everyone. Winter break is over now. No more booze. Oh, you guys are underage. Wow, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Let's get right down to business. It's the New Year, so we can start with the basics. It's a simple concept, but students often get it wrong. I'm talking about the apostrophe. 
Okay, vertical. Of the three phase, phrases I've written on the blackboard, tell me which one is correct. It's wrong. It's wrong. Or it's wrong. Well, he is would be he's. Right? It's like ownership. He is. He's. Uh, whereas his, you wouldn't say his wrong. You'd say he is wrong, which means that this one is correct. That's absolutely right. It is a contraction of it is. It's is a possessive word. You could say it's tail or it's temperature, but not it's wrong. There's another pair of words that are commonly confused. There and there have the same pronunciation, but they're not interchangeable, so watch out. Now open your textbooks. Also there! There, there, and there. They are, it's theirs, and like, it's over there. Hey, you busy? Could you oh. come with me for a sec? Uh, okay. Let's go to the rooftop. Hey, we've really never had a chance to talk, have we? Well, you're kind of a jerk to me. It's almost coming of age day, you know? I used to just think of it as a day off. But now, I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. It's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out, others have gone missing. Dude, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nyx. Oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something. And quick. I agree. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. They haven't done anything yet, but I know they've got to be planning something. And we need to take care of them, too. Wow. Becoming such good friends that I'd trust you with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just all so hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. That thing was inside you for ten years, and you harnessed its power and made it your own. I'm glad I met you. It's embarrassing to say it, but, but that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? Yes. Yes, we will. Yeah. Together to the end. Cool. Alright. So we could probably go to Tartarus tonight, but we have a new social link to start. Vertical Sun. It's been a long time since I first came to school. My outlook on many things has changed. But I'm not sure these changes are for the best. Vertical San, do you have any plans after school that's out? If it's alright with you, I would like to walk home with you. Alright. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, but there is one place I would like to visit before returning to the dorm. Shall we go? I come here a lot lately. Before I couldn't understand the benefit of coming to these places called shrines. But lately that has changed. 
This is also where we met Karomaru-san last summer. He waited here until we found him, even though his master had died. Now I can understand his reasons for doing that. What drives people isn't necessarily facts, but feelings. He knew for a fact that his master had died, but his feelings of wanting to be with him made him stay. It's the same for me. I have grasped the fact that I can't protect you, yet here I remain. Subconsciously, I was following my feelings rather than the available data. I was so confused at the time that I didn't notice it, but to tell the truth, it seems that the reasons behind my behavior changing while I am with you, Vertical San. And you sense faint affection from Igus! Boom! <laughs> this, is, this is so late in the game for this to happen! And we're gonna finish it! It's the. It, this is the. For me, this is the best social link script. She has the best social link script. Because hers is so unusual. It seems this is a new arcana, the Aeon Social Link. This, I believe, was added to this version of the game. Oh, I have a correction to make. I talked about what drives people. But of course, Karomaru san and myself aren't people. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna try to do a robot chuckle. You can just you can Google robot chuckle or just get Bender laughing hysterically. <laughs> Bender. <laughs> oh man. Best Where robot ever. None of your business, Akihiko. This term seems like any other term. I don't care about what's going to happen to the world. All I'm gonna do is keep moving forward. So let me know when you wanna go to Tars. I wanna go right now, actually. I mean, we kinda have to. I need two more levels. Everyone's okay today. So, that means we're going to Tartarus. Again, I don't really want to go grind to Tartarus, but I really need to, to get to... Here's my issue, right? There's an ability I need that requires two personas, and the, the lowest level, or the highest level one is 78. So, I need that to, to get the bloody button. And once we get the, the bloody button, then grinding the rest of the levels is not a problem. The bloody button is the huge hurdle. We could have waited one more day and picked up uh, Mitsuru's sword. Oh yeah, I need a group, right? Uh, I guess is horribly use useless. There we go. It's just the men this time. And the rough part about this is it's, it's very hard to grind anywhere but here. Because the other levels do not provide enough experience, even with bonus cards. Because I need about... I need about tw a little over 20,000 per level now. And a really great fight on this floor is about 4,000. And you gotta get really lucky. You gotta get, like, the max multiplier for experience. You have to get, you know, four or five enemies in a group. And then one of the... One of the other inherent problems with these guys... Is things like this. They don't have any particular weakness. I don't know if this is working or not. I don't really care. It did not. Not even close. They just one-shotted Akihiko. I think we should run. I think we should fail. <laughs> Garbage. 
Super garbage. Nice, June Tycoon. The enemies are balanced. Fine. The enemy's going to attack! Last one! Check this out. See, stuff like this. It's so dumb. At least this is a chance to kill him. Thank you. We can't afford to lose! See, those guys were worth 700. What I really need to hit in this grind are these guys and then hit all of them, which is hard. It's hard to hit all of them. I always miss one. Okay, well I hit them all that time. See, that's a, that's a free boat right there. 2,800. So 10 of those would get me a level. That's not the worst thing in the world. But it's also, I mean, you know, it's... There are two of them. Attack! Now, one of the upsides of this is, you know, I can do, like, half a level. Here's our chance. Let's do it. And then just exit. I mean, I, I can get the escape route, so... Great battle. Wasn't even paying attention. Not even a little. Uh, yeah, sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind out uh, as many levels as I can here off camera. And when I come back, new video. Bye, everybody.